delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deaf Ed TV. Tarana. everyone, you are watching Salida La Filipina TV, the official program for TV-based instruction of La Filipina National High School. I am Teacher Lori Leito Boada and I am your teacher broadcaster today. We are now in Quarter 2, Mojo 6 in Mathematics 8 which is all about conditional statements. If you will listen to me carefully, then you will completely understand this lesson. What did I just say? I said, if you will listen to me carefully, then you will completely understand this lesson. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a condition and its respective outcome. That was just an example of conditional statement or what we call as an if-then statement. For today's episode, we will define if-then statements, transform these statements to its corresponding if-then form and identify its hypothesis and conclusion. An if-then statement is composed of two clauses, the if clause and the then clause. We can denote a letter for each clause, such as P for the if clause and Q for the then clause. The statement is in the form if P then Q. Conditional statements are formed by joining two statements P and Q using the words if and then. The P statement is called the hypothesis and the Q statement is called the conclusion. Let's take this example. If it rains, then the sports fest will be cancelled. The P clause in this statement is It rains. While the Q clause in this statement is The sports fest will be cancelled. Now, Based on the definition, what clause stands for the hypothesis? Very good! The P clause. Therefore, the hypothesis of the statement is It rains, since it is the P clause. What about 
the clause who stands for the conclusion. Very good! It is the Q clause. So, the conclusion is the sports fest will be cancelled. How about this example? If two angles are right angles, then they are congruent. What is the P clause or the hypothesis of this statement? Yes, two angles are right angles. What about its Q clause or its conclusion? Perfect, they are congruent. Now, there are some conditional statements not written in the if-then form, but you can rewrite them using this form. How will you identify its hypothesis and conclusion? Let's take this example. Good citizens obey rules and regulations. The statement, good citizens obey rules and regulations, is a conditional statement. Why? Let's rewrite this statement in the if-then form. What is its corresponding if-then statement? That is correct! If you are a good citizen, then you obey rules and regulations. What is the P clause or hypothesis of the statement? Yes, the hypothesis is you are a good citizen. What about the conclusion? Very good, you obey rules and regulations. What about this statement? 18-year-old teenagers are eligible to drive. The statement is not in the if-then form. What do you think is its corresponding if-then statement? Very good! Your answer is correct. If you are an 18-year-old teenager, then you are eligible to drive. Can you try this example? Transform the statement, a triangle is a polygon with three sides into an if-then form and identify its hypothesis and conclusion. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Time is up. Let us check your answer. Our conditional statement is, a triangle is a polygon with three sides. This is one of its possible if-then statement form. If it is a triangle, then it is a polygon with three sides. Now, what is the hypothesis? Very good! It is a triangle. What about the conclusion? Yes! It is a polygon with three sides. Very simple, right? Now, let us check your understanding. Transform the following statements to their corresponding if-then form. Identify the hypothesis and the conclusion of each statement. Number one, 
A segment has exactly one midpoint. Number two, a quadrilateral has four sides. Number three, two points determine a line. I will give you three minutes to answer. Your time starts now. Check your answers. The answers are correct answers did you get? If you got a perfect score, then excellent! Otherwise, ask your math teacher. And that ends our fourth math episode of Salida La Filipina TV. This has been your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Lori, saying, if math is hard and so is life, then get over it. Bye-bye!
Huwag panghinaan, sa Lidala, Filipina ay bigyan daan Ito ang magbibigay na kaalaman TV naman ngayon ang inyong paaralan Makirap man ang inyong sitwasyon Tayo ay magtulungan para sa edukasyon Bawat isa ay mayroong misyon Matutong mabuti, maging inspirasyon Sa Lidala, Filipina Ang inyong pangarap ay tiksa Sa Lidala, Filipina Ang tarunan